New South Wales just didn't compete in that game one. I, yeah. I feel, hang on, here we go. Queen, yeah, that's the best winger. Queensland can play. That's the best they can play. They can't play any better than that. We, we've got at least another 50% improvement in this, mate. Where, where's it going to come from, though? Origin. Queensland, 1-0 up. So who wins it? Ben, get this out of the way straight away. Go on, say it's it. Pretty, it's pretty simple. We've got the couches that match the same colour. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but no, Queensland all the way. Easy. <laughs> Guru, yeah. can we turn this around? We, as in New South Wales, apologies Absol to all the absolutely. Queensland viewers. They win one game and I think they're going to win the series. It's, uh, it goes for three games, Ben. It normally happens, though, that the person that wins or the team that wins the first normally do go on and win, don't they? It so. does help. But you've you got to say that if Queensland have a full side, didn't they get a few injuries in, the, in game one and we still beat New South Wales pretty easily? So I, I just think if they get a full side again and, and injury-free, New South Wales don't even have a chance. That is the most Queensland tails up comment I reckon I've ever heard. Didn't have a full side, we were still too good for them. <laughs> but they, they were, were too good. good. They were they too were. good. Yeah. yeah. They were Absolutely. good. Ben, I do think you're in trouble because New South Wales did have a lot of ball on Queensland's line. You took your opportunities, but that won't happen again in game two. I reckon it will. I'd, honestly, I look at the game and Queensland weren't at their best. They had injuries. New South Wales just didn't compete in that game one. I, I feel... Hang on, here we go. Queen, that's from the best winger. Queensland can play. That's the best they can play. They can't play any better than that. We, we've got at least another 50% improvement in us, mate. Where, where's it going to come from, though? From the halves. The halves are going to play good this time. This time. I suppose, I suppose they're both are Penrith players, so it's OK. But really, you've got the rest of the team that they need to perform around. And really, they didn't stand up. Like, you're at your home ground. You couldn't sell out the stadium, let alone anything else, just to, to get your team home. It is. It's it Queensland spirit, and yeah. everyone knows that we breathe origin. New South Wales doesn't. But, they don't understand why do you it. breathe the, um, this, it's this spirit? About, it's where you're born, it's where you're raised, you're playing well, for your state. Well, some aren't born. Some are born in Queensland. Some, but but yeah. everyone wants to be born in Queensland. That's the big thing. What? It's, 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 you just <laughs> want to play for the team. Do you what? want to be born? Right, right. <laughs> no. Do we you? want to be hot. No. Do we? Yeah. And, Perfect. Yeah. As I keep saying, New South Wales... You can't sell out your stadium. Or the newspaper reports said that you couldn't sell out the, new, out, out the stadium, had to give away tickets. What's that showing for your, for your support of Origin? We've got to, we've got to sell, what, 80,000 80, tickets as opposed to, what, 44? 44. It's a bit harder. It's a little yeah. bit harder. Yeah. That's okay. Well, how do you think you're going to win in, in Perth anyway with no Queenslanders over there? Yeah. Well, no got, fans, no one. We've got all the New Zealanders. They're all for us. Anywhere but New South Wales is Queensland supporters. You know that. I can't, I just can't see how you can win you over there. smoked the last time that we were over in WA. Absolutely pummeled on that ground. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't Trabonic remember. Six three three tries on, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah smashed. Absolutely oh, is smashed. he playing this origin? No, he's not, is he? <laughs> that's right. The only player that could probably make a difference is, yeah. Or Josh had Carr, but they're not there. We'll see. Who wins? Uh, New South Wales, 2-1. They'll, they'll, they'll bounce back. The halves will be just on fire. They won't be able to handle it. New South Wales are going to win. They're going to have a, a new play. <laughs> going to have a new play, OK? That's what they're going to do because Eric and I will be coaching. Yeah, um, okay. And we'll have a new play and, um, and, and they'll win 2-1 two, two, easy. <clears throat> and see, that's, that's what you're looking at. I, I, I can see New South Wales potentially winning game two, but then you're going back up to Queensland. I know New South Wales have beaten them up there before, but it's different now. I, I, I see Queensland winning. If it's not a clean sweep, it's 2-1. OK, so there is doubt there. <laughs> not doubt. I just, I just wonder if they go a little bit easier for New South just to make it a bit of a series. <laughs> Guys, best player to never have played Origin that you would pick without batting an eyelid. That's easy, mate. Kevin Hastings, he was just an all-round great player. No, no great flair about him, but he just, he just played a grinding game and he, you know, I'd, I'd have 13 of him on the, on the ground at one time. All right, so I'm telling you, I'm going to jump in right here and go, I know he's not available for it, but Sam Burgess be the first person I'd pick for any or Origin team ever. He just run over Kevin Hastings. Like the, the game is built for tough people. Give me a team 13 of Sam Burgess. Well, firstly, you need to go to the Department of Home Affairs to get him naturalised as an Australian. Yeah, That's your but, first problem right but there. But you're the best player to have ever played that never played Origin. I'm telling you, it, he's one of the best I've ever played with. We're going to go down this path of internationals, aren't we? Well, he was a good player, wasn't he? I mean, he's a good player, Sam Burgess. Yeah, he's but right. He can't play for New South Wales or Queensland. <coughs> um, we try to get him yeah. into Queensland. But too. I mean, the, the player <laughs> I would have would be like, how can you play for Australia 
and then not play for your state. Like, that seems weird to me. Manly player, Daniel Gardner, he was a great forward yeah. and he could play anywhere, really. On the wing? It's a very well, specialised position. In this day and age, he probably could play on the wing, you know, because wingers are quite big. For me, yeah. Daniel wasn't quite up to the absolute elite of his time. Uh, Kevin, before my time, I'll take your word for it, he was a grinder and he might, might have deserved to be there. Sam Burgess, and the fact that he's English aside, <laughs> that aside. anyway. The one guy I reckon, Preston Campbell, how he didn't play Origin, I do not know. Too small. Too small? Yeah. That was the knock on him. It was unfortunate, but he wasn't too small to be the best player in the competition in the early 2000s. He was dynamic. He could just come up with something out of nowhere. That's what you need in Origin. You're saying they're too small. Kevin Haynes, Hastings is small. Is he- that's, your, that's your guy. I... It's not about being too small, but it, it's one of those things. That, that's not an excuse. I, I want to know. Preston was one of the best players to... He I'm can't. He, can't play lock, he wouldn't be able to play lock or, or second row. Kevin Hastings is durable enough to play second row, all those positions in, in the forwards, and could go at the backs. Preston didn't need a position. He's just basically give him the ball when the defence is fatigued and just run somewhere, and he would have made something happen. But Origin Arena's tough. Preston played in the NRL. It is tough. But Origin's bash and barge. Just I can't agree with you with Kevin Hastings and Preston. You need forwards. You need big guys who want to bash. Disagree with all those ones. State of Origin is a state of mind, and Kevin Hastings had the state of Origin state of mind. But Eric, you're immovable on Kevin Hastings. Yeah, absolutely. Utility. Fair enough. I'm not going to try, but Let's get a team I disagree utilities. respectfully. Chris, you've got Daniel Gartner, yeah. left field solution there. Uh, ben, you have just got rid of the international eligibility r- rules it. and brought in Sam Burgess. Sammy, James Graham, head-to-head, bash, nah. their origin. For me, Preston, he was a gem. So this origin's in Perth. Feels like they don't mind sharing them about. Where should we go? I think we should keep it on the east coast of Australia. Or, and if we're going to um, put it out there, we put it in the country a little bit more. In, in New South Wales, Queensland country. Mudgy. Mudgy. Origin in Mudgy. Absolutely. So you, you just want to keep it all in New South Wales? Is that giving you the chance to win, I guess? <laughs> but I just keep it um, in Sydney and in Brisbane. That's it. I mean, no one else cares. You know, but that's, that's the thing. No one it, cares. It's a national competition. Don't yeah. you want to go take it other places? No, you want to no because the take people Take it to Adelaide. The whole thing about State of Origin, and, and, and like I haven't played State of Origin, you have, um, and Eric has, but it's the rivalry. You know, and that's why we love watching it. New South Wales versus Queensland. New South Wales wins most of the time. And so they've got that rivalry and it's just something about but, it. But and it's played in, because it's played in just out of the two states, those people get into it. But you want the rest of the Australia to support Queensland. So we can move but, to Adelaide. But they don't care. They, they're watching <coughs> AFL or they're watching soccer or, or Be- hockey or because whatever Because those it sports is. are taking it there. Yeah. We've got to take the game there to get yeah. it bigger. So what are we doing that for? Are we doing that just to make some more money over there or...? Yeah, and it potentially it would probably allow some people from New South Wales to filter there and give you a better team. <laughs> no, I just, I just, I mean, <laughs> but why take it to, like, people talk about taking it to America and, like, and I know that you want to take it away, but why... Who cares? There was well, yeah, so many people who were. I don't care about it going overseas, I, but I want Australia. It's a national rugby league. So what, like You've got Tasmania? To, Do you want Tasmania to watch it? Yeah, I would love it. So I you would absolutely down. love to go down there. But that's just you want to go on a holiday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your first ticket that's what everyone wants up. to do. They want to but, go on a holiday somewhere. But that's the I mean. Yeah. It's not only it's helping every uh, state in Australia and I suppose tourism, everything. It just makes sense to be able to grow the game. I actually think that taking the game to other states and particularly internationally um, gives New South Wales a better chance as well because Queenslanders, they're so... Queensland's the only thing that exists. I'll never leave Queensland. I love Queensland, this, that and the other. So it gives us a bit of a chance to kind of get some fans there and our boys will feel very comfortable wherever they play. They'll be fine. Well, I think we've got to have it in Sydney, as I say, is because that's where we win. But is it... Is it one and one this year? Except for game <laughs> one. That was just one bit of a little problem. But as I said, we threw that just yeah. to make it a bit more exciting. So just to be certain, keep it on the East Coast. Yes, build a big stadium right on the border. <laughs> Lightning Ridge or where, yeah. somewhere on the border Good there. A big stadium. Yeah. yeah, and that's where we play the third one. Fair enough. Just Sydney, Brisbane. And then, you know, each year... It's like two there and then one and then it rotates, yeah. Sick you guys sticking together. Move it each state, different state every year. 
Yep. Way to go. I agree. Grow the game. Except don't limit it to Australia. Take it global. It deserves to be global. Go to New Zealand. We've got and rugby league over there. Go there first. That's not quite global. It's like go there first. Your little steps, but make it, make it grow the game. You got to. 